Hello everyone, you are watching GS Tutorials and today we are going to study what is abspec.yaml file within our code commit. Like, sim like for code build we have got buildspec.yaml, similarly we have got abspec.yaml in our for our code deploy. So in this case, if we go into the deployment and view those events, we can see that these events were mentioned already in our abspec.yaml, right? So considering the abspec.yaml will go stepwise and try to understand like what all things are mentioned in here. So first of all, they have mentioned version. I've mentioned version for that particular abspec.yaml and the operating system that we have selected is to be is considered to be Linux over here and for the files they have I have mentioned the source to be index.html and destination to be var slash www slash html now since we are working for using httpd it checks for any of those files in this particular path and hence we are pasting or moving our index.html into this particular folder okay so this work is to be first done then we have got hooks so basically hooks are the scripts that we need to mention that we want to run while deployment occurs okay so application stop where we have the script that is stop underscore dot sh so let's try to understand that what has been mentioned over here so if httpd exists then you have to run this particular if it is already running somewhere okay it has to stop first so this is basically the starting element okay the starting script we can mention it over here you can see that we haven't mentioned any sudo why because we are running as a root so because of which we don't have to mention sudo right here okay so the next step is about yeah, so the next step that will be occurring, you can see over here, is download bundle. Now, this thing is not something that we haven't mentioned, but it comes automatically because since it is running on the Docker containers, right? So it first downloads the bundle. Then we have got before install. So how what has been mentioned within the before install is this go and execute this script as and run it as a root so before running any of the things we first have to install the dependencies and the only dependency that we need is httpd okay so in case of before install we'll be installing httpd before the actual installation occurs or for the deployment then after that we have got after install now after but before that you can see that installation occurs and then we go to after install within the after install we have mentioned few of those um, requirements like instance id basically speaking this metadata contains all the details related to the ec2 instance and hence we can make use of it to fetch it right now why do we need it because we want to deploy this statement sed is nothing but a statement where we'll be using this statement in our h index.html okay will be replacing or inserting basically inserting and then after that we'll be just 
kind of adding permissions to our index.html in this case. Okay. Then after that, we have got application start. Now, what have we written in application start? Is we have run we have started the server so simply we have to write service http start sudo is not required because we are running as a root so now we started the service and then after that you can see over here it has got validate service now that we have started we need to validate right we need to check its status so for that matter we have validate underscore service and it should contain grep it should contain congratulations and for that we have used this uh, command basically which is going to verify and access our web page successfully okay so in this way we have got an app spec dot yaml file with the help of which we can deploy the application and execute it so that's it for the lecture. Thank you so much for listening to me and a very good bye. Thanks a lot. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and also press that bell button. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.